Hey everyone, welcome along to this video. Um, I hope everyone's having a good day today. So in today's video, we are going over this title here, how to generate six to eight figures in revenue for your e-com store, okay? So anyone that's running an e-com brand, who's got a really good product that's in demand, and is looking to sort of use various different channels to grow, whether you're literally just starting out, you've got a product that's generated some sales, um, you are at the initial stages of trying to sort of build a community, you want to sort of build um, a brand essentially, and grow that. And there's various ways that you can do that, which we'll talk about now. Um, you first need to sort of generate an audience at the end of the day, uh, in order to, you know, sell and also then to repeat sell and then as you sort of grow over time and you build these assets and you uh, essentially grow revenue you can invest then into other traffic sources so that would be paid traffic initially as you kick things off it would be sort of organic okay because you want to test out the market and you want to sort of build an audience first and you can do that very much so through organic means and then like i said when you uh, earn more money from your business you can then invest into paid ads but look let's get into this okay so how to generate six to eight figure or sorry seven to eight figures uh in revenue for your e-com store all right so let's get down here to this kind of framework that i have here so <clears throat> initially where no, no matter where you're at in this whole funnel here right now um whether you are advanced, you're probably going to be more in this area here where you should be sort of scaling out your brand, where you know that you've got a proof of concept, money's coming in, you've built some sort of assets, you've built some uh, ways of sort of generating revenue. Okay, but now you want to scale things out and you can actually do that through uh, paid, paid media, you know, buying ads on the likes of uh, social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or even Google for that matter. And then of course, you're buying that at scale. And then you're using email, SMS to, uh, you know, build that lifetime value. But so let's just assume that you are sort of at the earlier stages and I'll go through these uh, four uh, blocks here or pillars, if you want to call them, right? So acquiring brand uh, awareness and attention, that's the first thing you need to do. So how do you do that? Well, what we do for clients, okay, is we actually help them build out a uh, an initial community okay and we do that through uh, gamification marketing so let's say they've got a good product they've got a website and they're looking to sort of build a community around that what we would initially do is actually create a giveaway uh, giveaway contest okay and what does this deliver on exactly so what this is designed to do is that it's designed to sort of build more sort of brand awareness more followers more attention and engagement okay more sales of your product more user generated content and more email subscribers so what happens here is that you're building out a community you're building out a following essentially uh, whether that's email list or whether that's through your social media accounts okay and definitely gamification when done right is is an awesome way to actually grow your brand so what we normally do is just take care of the offer creation the campaign setup campaign uh the, the management of the campaign uh, the reporting involved in that and also, of course, generating the results because <clears throat> what we want to do is make some sort of an ROI. But we're doing multiple things here. We're generating some some sales, but we're also actually building out a community, which is highly important at this point. Okay, So <clears throat> another way of acquiring brand awareness and attention is by essentially looking at influencer marketing. Okay, If you can find five to ten really good influencers that you sort of build a relationship with, and you can sort of do rev share deals where they expose your brand they build up some hype uh, through their stories reels all that kind of good stuff so you're partnering essentially and you are at this point just trying to get them to uh, use their leverage their sort of uh, trust and authority on their audience where you can actually go and uh, partner up and they will talk about your product and the benefits of it and what it does and why it's a good why it's good in the marketplace that kind of thing and they'll promote that to your to their to their uh, audience on a, on a campaign and just do a rev share deal essentially this is what i would do rev share deal and 
what you want to be thinking about at the end of the day is like, even if you're not even sort of generating profit here, the point is that you're generating customers. Okay. And at the end of the day, it's not just the one-time sale, but you want to be using sort of repeat purchasing um, through email then to actually, you know, build that lifetime value and profit. So <clears throat> Uh, influencer marketing, it's great. It delivers on brand awareness, uh, more of that, of course, more followers, more attention, engagement, more sales, and more user generated content, very much like gamification in a way. Okay. But it's a very good way to acquire attention. Um, if, uh, again, if you're, if you're to work with us, what we do with clients is that we actually have <clears throat> a network of people, uh, influencers, um, in various different sort of verticals and we would tap into that and be able to sort of match you with a good influencer okay so we source it of course like there we would create an offer as well that would really sort of generate the attention of their audience we set up the campaign manage the campaign report on it and essentially generate results and the whole goal really at the end of the day with gamification with influencer marketing is just to get that attention get out there into the marketplace generate some sales um and you know build out this community of people and both are really really good ways to do that so now that you've got a bit of attention we move into the next pillar nurturing attention uh to build value essentially and, and more sales <clears throat> so let's just look up here first so content marketing um you, you've got this audience you've got them through email okay whether they're customers or they're leads uh, you have a social following on maybe TikTok or instagram and you need to be posting up content to brand yourself out there. Okay. Um, various different ways of creating content, both image and video. But the whole point at the end of the day is to just keep people engaged in what you're actually doing as a brand. Okay. And nurture them and build relationships. So what does it deliver on here? So as I've said, more brand awareness, okay. And relationship nurturing, more attention and engagement, more opportunity to actually sell more of your product again here through content marketing. Uh, more opportunities to sort of educate the prospect and customers on what your product does, like before and after, here's the problem, here's the solution, this is what the product does. Um, and also gives you an opportunity to sort of understand your prospects and customers a bit better as well, because you can, you can do that through content. So normally what we do in, in terms of taking care of things for brands is that we'd uh, essentially kind of, work on content direction and sort of ideas for people. Okay. That are content can be quite a time consuming uh, thing to do, <clears throat> but also to think about stuff you need to sort of put out there as well. It's quite time consuming. So it's actually handy to have somebody that knows have done this before and you have sort of content in place that you can build out authority and educate people and nurture people at the same time. So you'd also need to sort of <clears throat> create some sort of like a content calendar where, um, every sort of day or every couple of days you're releasing something into uh, your your ecosystem for people to sort of um, nurture on okay so yeah that is essentially it for content marketing you need to have a sort of a draft in place <clears throat> another way of actually publishing content and getting it out there uh, kind of a way of sort of building out more value and and of course nurturing is to sort of use your email list and Facebook groups so again, these two combined, again, very much similar to what gamification does and sort of influencer marketing. Uh, it just, it delivers more brand awareness and again, is a way of nurturing relationships, okay? More attention, more sales, customer research and product development is another uh, uh, sort of advantage of having kind of platforms like this, where you can go onto Facebook group and you can, create a post basically that sort of asks people, well, how can we do better here? Um, what can we do to improve the product? And people who are sort of advocates of what you guys do will, you know, tell, you know, what, 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 what their thoughts are. They'll give you ideas and you can actually make your product better. So it's great to, that's why, that's why building a brand and getting this attention and having these assets is so important, especially in the beginning, because it gives you that sort of um, customer intelligence. Okay. So moving on, we'll go into the third <clears throat> pillar here, guys. And this is where you're, you know, you've built these assets, you've got email lists, whether it's leads um, or customer lists, of course, you have a Facebook group, 
you have content going out to your email channels, your Facebook, your Instagram, you've got people that are following you, they're engaging with you, they're uh, essentially either engaging in your stories and all your content, and you might be working with a few influencers as well. That's all great. Um, you're generating some good money here at this point, but how are you going to scale these things out profitably? And that is where paid media comes into place. Um, <clears throat> and I'm talking about the likes of Meta, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Google, Google's traffic uh, network. It's not just search shopping, but they actually have display network, which is a huge, huge uh, source of uh, inventory on ads. So highly recommended there. They're the tier one sort of traffic platforms that we would normally work with. So what is the advantage or why go through paid media? Well, it's, it's a quicker, uh, way of scaling out your brand. I mean, you, you know, you, there's only so much you can do in terms of doing gamification and influencer marketing. But if you're doing these in combination then with this as well, it's just going to build out things even more. So like, even when you're very, very successful as a brand, I still think you should be doing some influencer marketing because you're finding new influencers in the market to work with, which are maybe when you were starting out in the beginning were smaller uh, influencers, but now you can actually tap into larger audiences because you've just got that authority and credibility. And gamification too is something you could always be doing as well to keep people engaged on your social medias, um, on your email lists, and just ways of actually just generating campaigns where you're generating uh, sales, okay? Um, but yeah, it's just, there, there's so much noise out in the internet that you have to find creative ways to keep people engaged and you want to be top of mind when somebody is looking for a solution to a problem that they have and they think of you first because they've seen you so much on social media, they've engaged with your brand. And that's why I love gamification because there's so many creative ways that you can do, uh, be engaging in that sense. So anyway, back to paid media. Uh, it's going to give you more brand awareness. It's going to give you more reach. Okay. For audiences, obviously that is going to entail then when you've got really good ads and creatives that are garnering attention, it just means that it's going to generate more clicks. Okay. Which is going to lead more clicks down an already, uh, converting sales funnel that you have on your website. Okay. And it's predictable, consistent, and when done right, profitable as well. Uh, in terms of customer acquisition. Okay. So if you were needing help with something like this, and we actually can do that for you, this is one of the things that we do also as well, which is paid media. <clears throat> and again, this is only for when you're at a certain level where you, you have money to invest into ads because it is going to take money to invest into ads, whether you are in that position or not, you'll probably know. And it takes a little time to sort of get going. But the great thing is that you've built all these assets. Like you have user generated content, you have email lists to leverage off, you've brand awareness, you've got like social followings, you've got all this great, uh, all these great assets here to now uh, use in conjunction with paid media. Okay. So we would take care of like the creating, uh, offers, highly important that you're creating offers. And I'm not just talking about like a 10% discount. There are various ways to create really attractive offers and that can be done sort of seasonally as well. You can kind of latch on to like today is the 25th of September. Um, we're coming into quarter four and there's various uh, opportunities, shall we say, to to uh, to uh, use to, um, you know, acquire more attention, but also to acquire more sales. Black Friday, Christmas, Halloween, that kind of thing. So we would essentially, um, yeah, manage the campaign as well. We would give creative direction um, and if need be creative design we do the ad copy the audience targeting uh, consulting on the actual sales funnel as well so it's not just the ads the ad gets attention which is great and it gets the click but can we improve the average order value can we improve the conversion rate to actually get more uh roi essentially on the money that we're spending in terms of uh, acquiring customer so yeah, we, we do that. Great way to scale things out. So you're at this point here right now, like I said, you've all these assets uh, working for you here right now, email, paid media, probably paid media on a couple of different traffic sources. Okay. You want to be scaling out from one uh, traffic source. For example, I would really sort of hammer home, say on the likes of Facebook before you sort of start moving into Google. Okay. But you have you have uh, you're acquiring customers uh, at bare minimum um, break even, 
if not profitable. We're we always uh, we always can deliver results where we generate uh, customers profitably on the ads. Okay, so that's really really good. And of course, you have this system in place. You're you're doing your influencer marketing. You're doing your gamification. You're pushing out content. All these assets are just nurturing, building brand, okay, and making you more authoritative, improving your product, improving future products, future products, uh, ideas that your customers are getting because you have these assets, because you're asking these questions on email, you're able to communicate or Facebook even for that matter, or even in a story, okay? So you are moving forward. You're getting a lot more customers into your back end, which is where the real profits sort of uh, lie guys and this is where email and sms uh, consumer or customer retention comes into place okay so here essentially this is something that we also look after here but what does this deliver on it delivers more sales uh and you know repeat purchasing at a lower cost conversion right so email is a lot cheaper to make a conversion on and there's reason for that is because people have already gone through your sales funnel and if they liked uh the journey of going through your sales funnel as in like knowing about your brand getting educated purchasing going through your website all that kind of good stuff if they like if they're getting desired and results from the product okay and they have something you have something else to offer which is going to enhance that experience they're going to purchase from you again and uh, sending out emails and acquiring customers is a lot cheaper than uh you know paid media Okay. I mean, you can use paid media to, to, to repeat sell as well, but email marketing is definitely something that's you can use, which is a hell of a lot cheaper in terms of acquiring customers. And that's where you build that lifetime value and profit. So that's what it delivers on. Like I said, more brand awareness, uh, relationship nurturing, more profits uh, on lifetime value, cheaper to convert customers or already existing customers. Okay. Um, and there's very creative ways too, guys, that you can actually use email in the sense of like, you can segment people based on those who have not purchased and you can be creative in, in, in ways and in how you communicate to actually convert them. Maybe you'd have like a really irresistible offer where you get them on the fence and they purchase. Then you have your customers and then you have your customers that are purchasing from you a lot, like your high end uh, value customers. And there's various different ways that you can get them to either purchase more, refer people. Okay. Cause they're your brand advocates. They'll go out there. You can have a, a program where you've got a, a let's say an affiliate program where they'd actually buy There's some very creative uh, applications for, for a Shopify, for example, but customers who actually purchase, they can actually uh, generate um, commission if they refer other people. Okay. So they're your brand advocates. You can communicate things like that to acquire more customers. Okay. So the flywheel here, like this whole circle of assets that you own and customers that you have um, is just going to sort of really, bump you up to that seven and eight figure a year brand okay if you do this very very correctly okay um so where was i again back to email so if you were if, if you needed help with this this is something that we can do as well okay so we can also <clears throat> we, we go through in your cust or your email your email client we would set up um the correct email flows welcome abandon abandon card or just two typical ones. There's various other ones that we use as well. Uh, we use gamification campaigns as well to encourage people to open up emails, click. Engagement is, is very important too on email. Engagement is important on social media because it tells the algorithms that, that if I'm clicking and engaging on videos, then it means that I'm consuming this and I like it. So share, show me more of this. It's the same with the email, uh, sorry, the internet service providers. When somebody is opening up your email and they're clicking on your um, email links okay and this is done consistently that's telling the internet service providers that your email should be delivered to those people so engagement is hugely important uh, we also do content campaigns promotional and sales campaigns uh, the management of email deliverability which is something i just kind of touched upon there uh, a b split testing as well uh, for subject lines and even sort of content as well and essentially just maximizing the roi okay it's not just sales but it's getting more customers it's using the brand advocates to, you know, push your brand out further. Okay. So various different things that you can do with email there. Highly important that you're building one from the very start, which is what gamification marketing can do and influencer marketing to actually just start to generate customers and leads as well. Um, 
Last thing uh, that you all, well, not last thing, this can be done certainly on the earlier stages of your growth, but always, always be looking at the idea of getting reviews, whether that's reviews on <clears throat> reviews on product pages. Okay, I'm talking about that and it's obviously important. Again, you email customers for that. Okay, you can email customers to say, hey, leave a review if possible. If, it, if you've got a desired outcome, please let us know. Um, write a review on the on the product page. You can also get them to uh, write reviews on Trustpilot. Trustpilot is a huge, credible, trustworthy platform where people go, especially when they're studying you at the very start, like at the very beginning, when you're getting this brand awareness and you're, they're trying to figure out, well, what do you do? And are you trustworthy? And what are other people in my tribe, the people who are looking for the same desired outcomes, what are they getting in terms of value? Are, are these guys trusted? So. <clears throat> Customer reviews are huge and you can email people to do or your customers to actually write reviews. The more reviews that you get, the more authoritative you look, the more trustworthy you look. Uh, it's just all about that social influence, 100%. It's just like having a lot of, it's like having a lot of followers who are engaging on your social media. The more you have, the more content that you're putting out there, the more um, engaged people are, the more you look socially credible, essentially. And another way to do that is through your reviews. So it builds trust and authority. This is what it delivers on, trust and authority. Customer research and intelligence, okay? And that's this is also very good for ad creative as well. So when you're, <clears throat> one of the things that we do when we're, we're, we're studying a brand is we actually look at what people are actually saying about the brand. And we can use those desired outcomes and benefits and things that people like and don't like about the product. And we can actually use that in hooks, in ads, and that kind of good stuff as well. So again having this information is <clears throat> vital for how you develop your brand so yeah it improves uh of course it improves the conversion on on the sales form because <clears throat> if people are seeing that there is a ton of trust uh, pilot reviews um and you're getting really highly rated star ratings um again it's just you can put this you can publish this on your website you can you can use these trust badges in your sales funnel, like on your product pages or on your cart pages, that kind of thing. <clears throat> Emails, all that kind of good stuff. So um, yeah, it's it's invaluable to have the more trusted uh, reviews that you have, uh, that you can actually publish, the better. So we can actually take care of this as well. Um, when you're at a certain stage in your development here, we can actually go in and actually uh, create some campaigns that get you these results, okay? These, these uh, reviews. Uh, we set the campaign up, we manage it, we report on it, and uh, we just essentially deliver results. So that is it, guys. That is how you build your brand. I mean, uh, even essentially from your first four and five figures into six figures, okay, <coughs> into seven. And potentially, if you have the scope for it, if you have the scale, the possibility to do so, you could be even hitting the eight-figure um, mark. And <clears throat> that's done through developing more product, generating more uh, transactions from the uh, customers and getting them to purchase more every time that they're visiting your site or making sure that or, or where they're making an order on your site. And then are there ways that we can actually not just target your geolocation, but is there various geolocations around the world that actually we can sell product to, okay? But that is essentially, guys, what you do. Um, this is essentially the the framework, okay? It's getting attention, it's acquiring attention, it's acquiring uh, brand awareness. It's uh, nurturing that, okay? It's building relationships. It's um, branding yourself out there further, generating sales, okay? Because you've got these little communities and assets that you can leverage to sell your product and gain customer intelligence to develop more products so you can make uh, the desired outcome even more uh, impressive for your uh, customers. And then when you've got that tied down and you've got a com good converting website and you've got money to invest and you've got a good AOV and your profit margins are good on some of your best selling products, let's start using some of those to actually scale uh, and acquire more customers into your funnel. So you now have loads more customers profitably coming into your business every um, every week, every month. Okay, and having campaigns, okay, and email systems and even SMS systems 
to build out retention, repeat purchase, keep nurturing, um, using different programs like referral programs to acquire more customers, even using gamification again to, you know, have uh, generate more sales, generate more followers, you know, deliver on some different offers that can, you know, acquire more sales essentially from your customers. So that's essentially it guys. I hope that was helpful. Um, if you need help with any of this, uh, if you're, if you're here and you need to start running a successful gamification, um, campaigns, touch base with this, uh, same with influencer marketing. Okay. We can look after this for you. If, if you're, if you're, if you're in the beginning stages, we can get you up and running here where we're going to build out your email list and we can create some good offers and brand yourself out there a little bit more and start building a community around your uh, solution to the marketplace. Uh, same with kind of nurturing that as well. Okay. We can do that through, through gamification. We can nurture through content. Okay. And then if you're at a certain scale or sorry, sort of stage in your business where you're looking to invest more money into your brand to scale things out and acquire more customers a lot quicker, profitably, we can help you with that too. Okay. We have various different offers that we put out to the marketplace and we can share uh, those with you um, on a conversation. And then the same with email too, of course, email is a way, as I've explained, to build out customer retention and, you know, get that repeat purchasing going. Okay. Build out that lifetime value, build out those profits, get yourself to a brand where, you know, you're doing multiple six, seven, possibly eight figures a year. Okay. Thanks guys. Appreciate your attention. Hope that was valuable today. And like I said, if you need any help with this, please get in touch. Have a great evening. Talk soon. Bye-bye.